tell you guys, I need a new tripod. This one's just like, not having it anymore. But I need a tripod for my camera and I need a tripod for my cell phone, so. Tripods are not cheap, if you want to get the good ones at least. Anyhow, I wanted to come on here and update you guys that I'm on chapter 3 of my zombie book, Fight for Humanity. I last showed you chapter 2 comes from, it's all, it's the pink remember is what I've written on the computer. And uh, it comes down here, goes here, goes here, goes here, 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 and all the way down to here. So chapter 2 is a little bit longer than I expected when it comes to writing it freehand. Um, usually I write in spiral notebooks, but um, this is my book of books where I write down everything that I have inspired or is for my books related. Like notes and plot ideas and detailing and scenes and all that jazz is in this book for my books. And I have like every single one of my books that I've come up with that I've kept. I used to have a lot of book ideas. A lot, especially when I was younger, I had so many because I was really creative when I was younger. Now it's like I'm not that creative anymore. I don't know what happened, like something sucked it out of me. <laughs> and it sucks because I wish I had the ideas I had when I was younger and I wish I wrote most of them down. I did, actually. And then I got rid of them because I thought they were crappy ideas until now I'm like, I could have improved on those ideas and made them better or switch them up a little bit or something along those lines but you know how things go you do things when you're younger and you don't mean to do and you're like in the future like I regret that <laughs> and I re definitely regret getting rid of some of my book ideas and now I don't remember any of them it sucks but it's true um, I showed you last vlog that I'm reading Until the End of the World by Sarah Lyons Lemon. Um, and I told you how I kept reading and I'm not getting more. It's the same progress. I, it doesn't look like I've gotten any more from the last time I read the vlog, or sorry, did the vlog. But I promise you I did. I'm on a chapter, I was on chapter 18 last time I talked to you guys. Now I'm on chapter 28. I've bumped up 10 10 pages maybe. I've been reading it a lot, I swear, but it's for some reason it's taking me forever. It's not small handwriting or anything like that. It's not large handwriting either. It's, you know, normal size handwriting or typewriting or whatever you want to call it. But I'm just not getting anywhere in it. I'm just, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. But I'm not getting anywhere in it is the problem. I do have a few books that I bought from Goodwill. I bought, technically I bought four books. Five books from Goodwill. Um, I'm not doing a haul on them yet. Um, one of them won't be in the haul because it's like number two out of several books. And the ironic thing about that book, it's one of the Percy Jackson books, one of the Olympus Heroes of Olympus books, I think. Um, they had one and two at Goodwill. And I could have sworn I had number one. Because I looked at the cover, I'm like, I have that. I don't need that. Come home, I don't have it anywhere. Nowhere. I don't have it so I'm like I'm regretting that I didn't go back and buy that book because <laughs> I have one two three and five or maybe it's one two and four it's some odd numbers like that but uh, I'm so regret not one I'm not I don't have one so it's two three and four or two three and five sorry I just now remembered that I don't have one again <laughs> but look at that I don't have it I'm a little bummed out about that but I did find World War Z and the zombie survival guide by Max Brooks both of them at Goodwill someone has my taste <laughs> talking about zombie things I want to watch zombie movies so bad but the bad the thing about zombie movies is you get you get the, the you get some that are really really fantastically made and good and and majority of them are not. Majority of them are very B-rated and they suck. There's a lot of sex in them, a lot of boobs in them, and really bad graphic graphics just in general. Like, smoke rising from the city looks like it's 
completely bad CG, etc., etc., stuff like that. <laughs> I still watch them because I do research on them. Research. <laughs> I kind of like this, the girl from Zom 100 who does research on all the zombie movies and manga and all that jazz. I'm down on my list. I had over 500 zombie movies written, not written down, but typed up in Excel. I've watched majority of them. Can you believe that I've watched majority, maybe 250 out of the 500? So maybe half. <laughs> Uh, majority, a good chunk of them, maybe ha uh, half more of them, I can't find or are not free on Roku. I go on Roku and I search them up and sometimes Roku has apps that has free movies you can watch movies on. And um, I get a lot of them from there. <laughs> and wow, a lot of them are not free, a lot of them are missing, like you can't find them anywhere. So I don't even know if they're really movies or not. Some of them I need new subscriptions for. I'm just going to wait till I'm done watching the rest of them. And then I'm going to go and get the new subscriptions for them. Because they're free still. I just have to download the app to add them. So, there's that. Anyhow, I just wanted to update you guys about my zombie book. How far I'm getting in it. Like I said, I'm on chapter 3. I've hardly written anything in chapter 3. Because I have to do a little bit more research on police and SWAT. How they work together and everything like that. Because one of the main characters is part of the SWAT team, but I learned that a lot of states, um, sometimes they don't have a big enough police department or something along those lines where you can just have a SWAT team. You have, it's police officers mixed with training of SWAT or something like that. I could be completely wrong. I looked this up on the web, on a, um, I looked this up online and that's what I found. But it wasn't, I can't, I can't say it's credible sources. Because it's, I don't know if it's coming from a real police officer or not. So I have to do more research on that and figure out what's the deal with that. Because I don't want to mess it up and be like, this is how he is. But in reality, that's not how it is. You know what I'm saying? Although it's a book, why does it matter? But it matters to me because I'm a big researcher. I've done research for a lot of things in my life. And I, if I was professional at anything, it would be researching. Of course, I wish I had better... I wish I was better at researching, like if I could get put onto foreign websites and understand documents on them and everything like that when I'm doing foreign cases and when it comes to between watches and men. Um, that would be great. Uh, but no, it doesn't come down to that. Talking about between watches and men, I have not been working on it. No, that, that's a lie. I've been working on the scripts. I haven't had time to do voiceovers. Um, usually there's a lot of talking upstairs and kids playing around and I don't want to be like, can you please be quiet? I don't feel like that. I just, it's their house too, you know? So I usually wait till they're gone, like, to school. And that's one day out of the week because they were homeschooling. Um, so on Mondays <laughs> is the only day I have the time to do voiceovers. And I did some this Monday, but the script that I'm working on is large. So I didn't get to finish the script. It's like four pages long. I got to like two and a half pages. So I got a lot done, I just didn't finish it. So I'm trying. Um, Saturdays I don't do voiceovers. It's my day off for voiceovers mainly because I have to catch up on everything else that I have not done throughout the week or forgot to do throughout the week. So this is my catch up day, basically. And <laughs> Although I uh, sometimes don't do voiceovers on the week because of reasons. <laughs> I should do them on Saturday too, but usually the kids are running around upstairs. So I'm doing research on my books. See, books of books. Book of books. I'm working on a Cthulhu project right now for uh, my crocheting. And I'm reading Until the End of the World by Sarah Lyons Fleming. So, this is a long part of the vlog. I'm sorry. Hopefully I might cut some of it out. But right now it's 11 minutes long. So it might be shorter than this because I might cut out some of the blabbing that I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next part of the vlog. So I just got done working out. Haven't worked out in like several weeks. My bad. <laughs> um, I talked to my psychiatrist last Thursday for our appointment. It's our six month appointment. Because now I schedule every six months. It's just easier for us to afford. And um, oh, I'm deep breathing because 
Just got done working out. I don't look sweaty because I just wiped all the sweat off. She said that I need to start eating healthier, which she's not wrong. I do. And that I need to um, start working out again and stay on working out. But I understand. I get it. But I got to get back to working out. I didn't think I was going to work out today because I, I woke up with an extreme stomach ache. Uh, Zach was having a stomach flu issue yesterday and um, bought him ginger ale to help his stomach and then I woke up with a stomach flu this morning. But after several hours from 9 o'clock to now, my stomach calmed down. And um, because I've been drinking ginger ale also. <laughs> but every time I ate, my stomach got bad again, so I try not to eat. Um, I need to stop binging. I noticed that I've been binging a lot lately, and I keep telling myself to stop it, but I find myself going to the fridge without realizing I'm going to the fridge. And it's becoming a problem. <laughs> but I, I, for the last, yesterday and today, it's not a lot of days, I've been, try, I've been trying to control myself. Like, I only ate like three meals yesterday, and I can't remember if I had a snack in between or not. I probably did. <sighs> So yeah, she just said that uh, I, I've been oversleeping lately, so I told her about that. And she gave me an extra amount of Wellbutrin, so I hope that wakes me up. I'm taking it at around 5 o'clock in the morning when Zach wakes up for work. And it started working yesterday, not yesterday, today. I started taking it yesterday. I woke up a couple times, but I just pushed myself back to sleep, which sometimes I do. Um, and I woke up around 11.30, and today I woke up around 9.30. And I actually stayed up. So I think it's working, even though it's only been like two days. It's been since Thursday. So, yeah. <laughs> it hasn't been that long, but long enough, it should start working. So I think it started working today. I don't know if I could have told you guys this either, but I have a new computer. We bought a new computer for me and I'm moving all my games to that computer so that my laptop doesn't have so much games on it and it doesn't have, doesn't, isn't so much memory taken away from it. But I put Dragon Age onto my new PC and I didn't realize that would make me have to start all over again. <laughs> my brain didn't click with that and now I have to, I had to start all over again today. So I uh, started my mage character again because that's the last one I was playing didn't get very far in it, so luckily I'm not that bothered by it. And I'm going to try to do a mage build. I never do mage builds. I usually hate mages, mainly because they kill me so often in games, so I don't like to play them because of that. It's like, they're my enemy almost. I usually play rogues, but I'm playing mages. I played ma a mage in Dragon Age Inquisition, but I, I didn't play my main character as a mage. I played as someone else who was a mage, and I liked the way it was working, so I was like, I'm not dying nearly as much, so maybe I should just continue playing it like this. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm playing a mage to see how I'm doing on it. I need to clean badly. I haven't been cleaning lately, um, but I have been looking at recipe videos so I can learn more recipes to cook up, and I'm going to be making a lentil stew today. Yay! I've never made a lentil stew before, so this is going to be interesting. Of course, I'm not going to film it because it's upstairs and I don't want the children to be in the video. And I've lost a little bit of weight. I've been really keeping, I've been really keeping an eye on my weight by uh, not eating as much. I've been trying not to binge. Very hard not to do. I binged a little bit yesterday, but I still kept underneath the calories that I needed to. So I binged on like really healthy food, like oranges and peaches. And um, what else did I eat yesterday? I had ramen, which gave me most of my calories and sodium levels. Um, that's going to be the last time I eat that because I didn't realize how much sodium is in it. I knew that ramen has a lot of sodium, like a lot, but I didn't realize how much sodium was in it. <laughs> so that surprised me a little bit when I saw it on my calorie counter on here. Um, I'm using Lose It as my calorie counter. Can't really. It looks like that. And um, it's pretty good. 
because I would use my Fitbit, but I don't know where my Fitbit watch is. It's somewhere. Uh, it has to be charged badly. Uh, I was also going to work on Between Monsters and Men, but I put a poll up saying, asking what video guys you guys want to see next, at least on Between Monsters and Men. It was between a Sleeping Beauty, Gruesome Tales one, or Zombies, relating to zombies of now, right now, today. Um, current zombies mean they're, I'm not saying attacked, but current, current zombies. And <laughs> I didn't realize that I did not, ooh, I got dizzy for a second there. I didn't realize I did not, um, finished writing the script for the Sleeping Beauty one. So when I wanted to go on to do a voiceover for that, I was like, where's the script? <laughs> and I realized I didn't write the script, I just wrote down the notes. Uh, so I started working on the Zombies one because both the polls were even, they were 50-50. I was gonna work on the Zombie one instead, but I realized that there's a lot of words in the Zombie one that I can't pronounce. <laughs> like a lot, and I kept having difficulties I kept stuttering today so I was like you know I can't do it today as quiet as it is right now I cannot voice over today because I just I kept messing up on the very first paragraph I messed up the first sentence at least six times six times stuttering and saying the wrong words although I'm reading it this is why I don't like to read in front of any I don't read out loud because I mess it up so often it's ridiculous how much I mess up my words when I read out loud. I even mess up my words occasionally when I'm reading in my head, but not nearly as bad. <laughs> and um, it's just, it was bad. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that today. So I was gonna work on voiceovers today. I have to clean today. I have to make stew today. I have to work out today. And I have to keep an eye on my calories. Not eating ramen, so screw that. I have to figure out how to keep an eye on the calories that I'm going to be adding to the stew. I think I've got to count all that up. <laughs> Somehow, magically. I know people have done it before and I'm like, how do, how do I do it? Do I just... We'll see. We'll, we'll get to it. Oh, I'm blurry. There. But yes, uh, I gotta count up the calories for the lentil stew. Either way, it's a healthy dish. It's a vegetarian dish. I'm not adding any meat to it because the chick who I'm watching didn't add any meat to it. But when I told Zach yesterday what I was gonna make, he's like, you're not adding ham to it? I'm like, no. <laughs> Did not know that was a thing. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you add ham to lentil stew. At least that's what we did when I was younger. I was like, this isn't, I'm not following your parents recipe because I don't know the recipes they need to make a recipe book because there's a lot of recipes that Zach wants to follow after his parents made them to get them all would be ridiculous just need to make a recipe book for it anyhow I just wanted to update you guys a little bit about that I've lost um last Saturday today's Friday uh, after the last Saturday I was down to 148 from the 156 I was at but I gained weight somehow. I'm guessing from working out because I'm now, now at 150 to 151. And uh, I haven't been eating as much. I've been keeping an eye on what I've been eating for the last week. And I don't know how I've gained other than maybe working out, but I haven't been working out a lot because uh, I keep forgetting or I'm really tired or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I have been working out for the majority of this week. I think I didn't work out Monday. I worked out Tuesday. I didn't work out Wednesday because Zach's home on Wednesday. I worked out yesterday and I'm going to work out today. So that's as much as I've been working out this week. And then I have to start a new program of hers after this week because I'm at the end of this program. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you my bullet journal for October. Excuse this mark and like this one right here the black smeared and so I use white to try to cover it and the book itself is not white <laughs> So you can kind of see a difference 
but here's the cover page. I wanted to show it off because I actually drew it. Got inspiration from Pinterest. But I actually drew it. And I got my hot my habit tracker right there. Which I also got from Pinterest ideas. And my to-do list. Which goes on to this. And that also I got an idea from Pinterest. So I just wanted to show this off real quick before the end of this vlog. So if you guys do bullet journaling also for daily things or habits, etc. You have something to look into maybe? I don't know. <laughs> it's not the best, but it's something pretty good. I mean, I think I did a good job. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day.